We are getting some breaking news on an airline antitrust lawsuit. Phil LeBeau with the details. Phil. Sarah, as expected, this has been reported earlier today and it's been floating around and now we have it. The Department of Justice, along with six states, are suing American Airlines and JetBlue seeking to halt or dissolve their Northeast Alliance. What is the Northeast Alliance? It is a code share agreement between American and JetBlue went into effect in February earlier uh, this year with the blessing of the DOT at the time uh, that essentially allows them to coordinate their schedules uh, and services to a certain extent uh, with the three New York metropolitan airports. We're talking about LaGuardia, JFK, as well as New work, as well as Boston Logan, the DOJ says this is not good for competition. And they cite a number of factors saying everything from they would not be uh, as competitive, that they would be more competitive if they were not working together, and that ultimately this hurts the services that are being offered to consumers. So they believe it hurts competition. Both American and JetBlue, they knew this was coming. They are blasting the DOJ and this lawsuit. They say, look, we have added 58 flights because of this Northeast Alliance, uh, service to 58 cities, I should point out, multiple flights uh, in different markets, and they believe that this has been good for competition. Remains to be seen whether or not they end up fighting this out in court or if they can reach a settlement, though we should point out that in a briefing, uh, a DOJ uh, representative said, if we go to court, we want to make sure that ultimately whatever is agreed to is good for the consumer because this alliance in the eyes of the DOJ is not good for competition or the consumer. Guys, back to you. Phil, we're looking at only a, a small reaction to the to the share prices. Maybe that's right. because uh, pe people expect them to successfully push back on the lawsuit. But but either way, was this hugely significant to their bottom line earnings when it was announced, or or, or not really? I mean, they presumably make most of their business from direct bookings for from people on their own flights, as opposed to when there are those code shares. Right. They don't break their earnings down by region. So it's not like you can sit there and say, if you didn't have this alliance, how much would it be able to assist your earnings? At least I have not seen the math done. Perhaps there is an analyst out there who has crunched those numbers. Make no mistake, American and JetBlue were pursuing this for some time before it was finally agreed to earlier this year. Both of them believe that this allows them to be stronger in the Northeast. And remember, JetBlue is based out of Boston, so it's already strong there. The point that the DOJ is making is that JetBlue has a long track record of being disruptive, of fighting other airlines by not partnering with them to a certain extent. And because they're partnering now with American, they believe that they will not be as disruptive and that they will not grow as quickly as they could if they were separate, completely separate, and not part of an alliance. Got it, Phil. Thank you. Phil LeBeau.